17-year-old Samantha Jackson sits alone in her living room, making sounds only she understands. Shh. Samantha has severe autism, a developmental disorder that manifests in many ways, including the inability to develop language. When four-year-old Samantha turned extremely disruptive during a quiet service. She's basically kicking and screaming as I drag her out. You know, that was pretty tough. I just stopped taking her, and my husband and I took turns take wow. going to Mass. But Karen believes Samantha belongs in church. I think she's a person of immense faith. She doesn't show it the way you and I might mm. show it, mm -hmm. but she shows it with her actions very clearly. In 2008, Karen started the Faith Inclusion Network, or FIN. It helps churches learn to become more inclusive and families to find a welcome place to worship. Disability itself is simply a more noticeable form of the brokenness and difficulty that's common to the human experience. Finn is also branching out to bring together leaders of the faith and disability community to network, educate, and inspire. For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. There's no asterisk on that verse that sends you to the bottom of the page where it says, except for people with disabilities. Susie Stefanowicz has seen how God prepared some of these people for his work. She and her husband began the chosen ministry to help people with disabilities worship together. They have the pure God's love, I think, that with no inhibitions at all. And you just, you come here and you just feel totally loved. Samantha Jackson spends less time alone now. Here, she is free to be herself and dance. Hope you Charlene Aaron, CBN News, Virginia Beach.